Uh, good day dear chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you a very interesting and at the same time complex chess puzzle composed by Czechoslovak chess composer Mario Matos. This was first published in 1975 and received the first honorable mention. The task is to win with the white pieces, you can pause the video and try to find the solution. Uh, ready? Well, actually, the first two moves are very difficult to find, and I really don't think that you could make it through, you know? Uh, let me tell you that even for Stockfish, solving this puzzle turned out to be a huge challenge. Stockfish 14 running on my laptop failed to solve it and decided to test Stockfish and even Lilac 0 further. Uh, as you know, on Chessify's powerful cloud servers, Stockfish can reach enormous speed and only after it passed 500,000 KNA speed finally it managed to come up with a solution. While in Lila Chess Zero's case we don't have a solution, it evaluates the position as equal. Even after making the first move you can see that it can't see Bishop C7 move. Ok, back to our main board and now without further ado, let's go through the solution. Uh, in order to win the game, first white is playing queen c8. Now the threat is bishop e7 check followed by queen takes e8 checkmate. That's why black is playing king g8 is neutralizing the threat. And it's in here that white is making just a marvelous move and is playing bishop c7. This is the move which was a challenge both for Stockfish and Lila. If Stockfish managed to find it after some thought, in Lila's case, uh, we don't have this move. This is very interesting, guys. Bishop c7, an unnatural and difficult looking move, right? White is sacrificing his queen, and the whole point of playing bishop c7 is to bring the bishop on the long diagonal from where it can harass black king. First we are playing g takes f7 check. Now if king f8 then this is simple, white will announce a checkmate. That's why black is playing king h8 and there comes bishop e5. Now with the discovered check white is threatening a checkmate and if you try to open up a luft for your king then this time king g6 leads to a mate. That's why black is playing queen c5. Now you have to be careful, discovered check can be met with queen takes e5 followed by king g7. That's why in order to avoid queen takes e5, white is putting his bishop on a safe square. Again, the only move which is allowing white to win. Now again, there is a threat of a discovered check, that's why black is playing knight c7. And now if you take a look, you can see that all the retreating squares of white king are successfully under control and at this point all white can do is to make a move with his bishop. Of course we are not taking into consideration the suicidal f8 move. White is making a waiting bishop a1 move and now black is in Tsuktsovank. Black can't win the queen or the knight. They should guard those essential squares and also black can't uh, move his pawn that's why all black can play is to push forward the a pawn. Bishop b2, another waiting move. a3, bishop a1. a2, bishop b2, and now black is forced to give up the a pawn. Whatever you play, white is winning it. And now already black is in Tsuktsovank. If you move your queen, for example, queen f2 check, then king e7 check leads to a checkmate. Check, checkmate. So, queen f2 check leads to four consecutive checks, right? Check, 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 check. This is checkmate, actually. This is very interesting. And if you move your knight, for example, knight d5 check, then king e6 check is winning. The e6 square is no longer under control. If you block the long diagonal, then bishop takes c3 check. And after queen takes c3, white is going for a pawn promotion and is announcing a checkmate. Truly a fantastic puzzle, right guys? Maybe we should go through it once again. Queen c8, king g8, bishop c7, and then g takes f7, and the dark squared bishop is occupying the long diagonal. The rest is easy. White is first putting his opponent in a position of Tsuktsavank, is forcing to move. 
either the queen or the knight or even the pawn and yeah after which checkmate follows very quickly uh, in the end a few words about Matos, about the composer uh, turns out that this Czechoslovak composer always needed a lot of beer to get an inspiration, but after getting it, he suddenly changed into an austere and hard-working man. He didn't sleep, drink or eat, and spent many days and nights feverishly working out the idea. He published almost 300 studies and won more than 160 honors, 20 being first prizes. This is it, dear chess lovers. Feel free to share this wonderful chess puzzle with your friends. Let them know about this beauty and as usual, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.